Kyle Woodley is getting a second chance at redemption on fighting Jay Paul on December 18th. Is he going to get the KO this time? What's going on guys? My name is RJ. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. We got some news today. Let's get straight into the video. So I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard that Tommy Fury has pulled out of the fight. Not because he probably wanted to, but due to injury. Now that is still speculation, right? A lot of people are believing that he pulled out of the fight just because he couldn't handle the pressure. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, the reason he pulled out was due to medical reasons, right? Supposedly, he had a chest infection and one of his rib cages was slightly broken. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the viral video that went around between him and his brother, Tyson Fury, doing some oblique medicine ball ab exercises. The exercise where you go ahead and have the medicine ball and you're just pounding it at your partner's obliques. That's to go ahead and strengthen and condition the obliques for those punches. Now, we're not 100% sure that that caused the injury to Tommy Fury's uh, rib cage, but it is speculation. It is probable now because Tyson Fury is a big guy now you have to be careful with that exercise now Tyson Fury being a heavyweight being a big guy he probably went all out he was just hyping himself for the video and you know you got to be careful in training camp that you don't get injured especially with those type of exercises and Tyson Fury you know he's a madman he's already he's a, he's a heavyweight boxer he does these drills to other heavyweights so Tommy Fury isn't necessarily a heavyweight but he was pounding it like if he was a heavyweight and you know that might have caused him to hurt his ribcage and because of that pulled out of the fight now right now he is getting so much backlash saying that you know that's not a reason to pull out of the fight you know whether you're sick you're dying whatever it is you stick in the fight you're, you're a warrior your, your mental game has to be on point no matter what it is you go to the fight there have been many fighters who have been injured and they still go into the fight they don't say that they're injured you know because they go into it with a dog mentality they go into it with that boxing that fighter mindset and maybe Tommy Fury just doesn't have that fighter mindset at this level right now because there was a lot of pressure on Tommy Fury this is the biggest stage of his life and maybe he couldn't handle it pressure from being a Fury the pressure of going on a big stage and headlining you know maybe he couldn't handle it which is why he succumbed to the medical conditions and saying you know what I'd rather be on the safe side and just pull out but who are we to judge at the end of the day the fighter has to stay safe now moving on to Tywin Woodley at that point they immediately called Tywin Woodley. So props to Jake Paul for keeping on the fight, keeping the fighters on the undercard to get their money to get paid. Jake Paul and his team immediately called out to Tywin Woodley and Tywin Woodley ready to get his redemption after that loss with Jake Paul. You know, he got ridiculed a lot, especially by his peers. So, you know, he definitely wants to redeem himself. He even stuck to his word saying that he was going to get I love Jake Paul tattooed on himself, which he did. My prediction for this fight coming into this fight. We're gonna go ahead and break it down slightly real quick. Now, the first fight, we saw that Tyron Woodley definitely put on the pressure with Jake Paul, but he wasn't that active, especially when Jake Paul was hurt against the ropes. Tyron Woodley still wasn't that active. He wasn't putting on that dog pressure. He didn't go ahead and finish Jake, even though there was blood in the water. He wasn't that ferocious animal that we usually see in the cage when somebody's hurt. He just didn't finish off Jake Paul. So I think in this fight, it's gonna go a lot different. He knows Jake Paul's power. He knows his boxing ability. Jake Paul doesn't have a high boxing IQ yet. He still doesn't have professional boxing footwork, angles, any of that stuff yet. He's still going into his career. Yeah, he's doing these big fights, but he's still not at that professional level as somebody who had 10 professional fights yet, who's been in the ring, who's been doing this for years. Right now, he's just doing some of the basic combinations, which he's mastered pretty well. The stuff that he does, he does it pretty good. He's rehearsed it over and over again. The pad work, those combos, he's rehearsed it very well, which is why he's been effective. Coming into this fight, is he going to do the same thing? I, most likely he is. It's, it's very hard for somebody to shoot up 100%, right, in, in just three months. So I think it's going to be similar to what he did to the last fight. Now, with Tyron Woodley, he has a lot more fighting experience. Now, boxing experience, he's still pretty much brand new. But as far as, like, fighting he has a lot more experience. He's a lot more comfortable doing that. His mind is going to be more at ease. I think this time he's going to go into the fight with Jake Paul. He's going to go ahead and go for the kill. He's going to put a lot more pressure in. He's going to go on the inside. He's probably going to stay on the inside. I don't think he's going to 
go ahead and move in and move out. Like I said, with Tyron Woodley, he's still pretty much an amateur when it comes to boxing, but he's that high level amateur, if that makes sense, right? So I think he's going to go ahead in the pocket, he's going to stay in the pocket, and he delivers some hard blows. Now, the combos that he does when we see him do pads, they're, they're Mayweather combos, those long pad combinations. So I think he's going to bring some of that stuff out, and I think he's going to go ahead and deliver power behind it because we know that he has power, and I think he's going to go ahead and finish him this time. So my prediction for this fight, I believe if Tywin Woodley actually is active in the fight, I think he's going to go ahead and TKO him. I don't think he's going to go ahead and knock him out cold. I think he's going to go ahead and TKO him. Or um, if anything, he's going to go ahead and win by points. Jake Paul, is he's a big guy. You know, we've seen that he does have a chin, but I think he's going to go ahead and TKO him in this fight. So I think it's going to be super interesting. Round two, Jake Paul versus Tywin Woodley, number two, December 18th. Uh, what's your prediction? What do you think the outcome of the fight is going to be? You think Tyron Woodley is going to lose or do you think that Jake Paul can actually knock out Tyron Woodley? Because we know that Jake Paul wants that highlight reel, you know, for his show, social media life, for his, his highlight reel. He wants that knockout, but I think Tyron Woodley is a very hard guy to knock out. I don't think he's going to be able to knock him out. If he does win again, it'll most likely be on points. Uh, maybe a split decision again, uh, which I know Jake Paul doesn't want that. But if he does end up winning, it's probably going to be that way. I'm going to be rooting for Tyron Woodley. I think he's going to go ahead and learn from his mistakes and go ahead and get the knockout on Jake Paul. But that's my fight prediction. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're going on to the next one.